Hi there, Scott Wilkinson here, editor of avsforum.com and host of the Home Theater Geeks podcast. I'm talking with David McKenzie, a, an independent calibrator and compressionist, heavily into this whole video world. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the one doing the calibrations for the Value Electronics Flat Panel Shootout 2015. Um, how has that gone? Uh, do we have uh, good results on all these TVs? Uh, we certainly have flat charts on all the TVs. Whether or not that translates into good pictures is going to be down to the audience to decide. <laughs> well, and you're, you and I are both going to submit our evaluations as well. One thing we've done this year that's new is uh, we will take evaluations from the professionals, you, me, other TV reviewers, calibrators who show up, and tabulate those separately from the enthusiast amateur and I don't use amateur in a derogatory way whatsoever. whatsoever. It's just simply that that's not how they make their living. They may know at least as much as we do. They don't sit in dark rooms all day. That's the difference. They get to see sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> they get to see sunlight, unlike us. Um, but then we'll tabulate those results and see if there's a difference, which should be very interesting. Historically, we there has been. Yeah. Uh, last couple of years, at the, when Robert was doing this event and you know, we were involved as speakers at the store, uh, we found that, that the, the audience pick and our pick was not always the same. So. Yeah. And uh, the criteria, typically, I mean, what usually wins consumers over is brightness, yeah. right? And that, but you've t taken great pains to make sure that these TVs are all calibrated to the same brightness level, which is the more or less the standard for current generation standard dynamic range. That could be a little controversial, and I'm, you know, we always invite people to, you know, give their thoughts on that. But we, we're also doing the day mode as well, so we're we're seeing how bright these displays can go in a in a room that where the display might have to fight a lot of ambient ambient light, you know, uh, room with big windows, sunny on the beach. I don't know, um, uh, but yeah, for the for the purposes of the night mode for the critical viewing, uh, it's uh, the peak white levels, 35 foot Lamberts. Uh, Gamma, or sorry, we, we can't call it Gamma anymore, the <laughs> uh, OETF and EOTF. The electro-optical transfer function. The Gamma is uh, BT1886, um, so yeah, it's that. And the color, color uh, gamut is uh, 709, which is the high definition standard. Uh, but you also, I think, took the time to measure what these TVs can do at their widest color gamut to right. see if they're even, it's even possible to send them a wide gamut uh, signal and have them reproduce it. Right, so we have, um, none of them can do 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, but uh, we're, I've, I've measured uh, to see how far they get. It's, it's pretty far, mm -hmm. so. Um, In I the 90% range, 90-ish percent range. I don't think the only, um, you know, shall we give it away now? There's one, there's one that's lower than 90, but um, exactly, yeah, that's. Uh, don't say which. They, they all do a very good job, they all do a good job. <laughs> Of, of coming out there, and I imagine it's only going to get better as, as the years go on, and we have actual P3 content on the home, whether it's through download or Ultra HD Blu-ray or, or whatever. Um, another thing that has been posted on AVS Forum, which I'm, I'm the editor of, so I watch pretty carefully, um, is a lot of people are saying, well, why don't you show high dynamic range versus standard dynamic range? Only one of these sets is currently capable of, right. of accepting a high dynamic range, high dynamic range signal, so... I didn't think it was reasonable to do. Uh, I, th I think it would be great to show HDR, but like you say, it's uh, right now the implementations are manufacturer specific. When we have UHD Blu-ray at the end of the year and we can put a UHD BD player into a matrix switch next year's event, then that will be very interesting. But right now it's a little more complicated than that. And we have Joe Kane and Bob Kaiser doing a high dynamic range demo it's in another part of the room. Amazingly good, amazingly good demo, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it yet, I look forward to oh, it. Oh boy, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's right behind us, so yeah. yeah. Cool, man. Well, um, uh, I think you have a little bit more work to do. Uh, you and I both have a little bit more work to do, actually. Fine tuning up until the very last minute. So, yeah. Very good. So let's get back to it, shall we? Let's. <laughs> All right. Thanks a bunch. No